This sounds so fire, bro. Uh. This that 2018. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's go. Hey. stuffing her face right now and looking at notes, but I am. I'm sorry. I'm doing work. Leave me alone. We got another exciting show for you in this jam. Had to turn up the looking at all these torn AC. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. What? I'm sorry. It came out of nowhere. That ain't come out of nowhere. You felt that. I did not feel it, but <laughs> like I said, it is another exciting show for you. Um, and let's just jump right into our baseball where we got a lot of exciting news for you. We got both. Well, let's start with the Yankees. Even though they've been without players. They've been cracking home runs. They've been cracking home runs. They had one game where they blast 20 home runs. You know, 13 the next day. 13 the next day, but they are in the playoffs for the fourth straight season. Good for them. I know, right? That's amazing. Mm. So, that's that, yeah. They're in the playoffs for the fourth straight season. Good for them. But then... Even though I'm not a huge baseball fan, but congrats. But then you also have... The Astros, who 
He's had the warm my night. I got some good food, and here he got to go talking about some BS. Well, you got Carlos Correll who had it, got popped by a foul ball in the ankle. Me. So his ankle test came back negative, which that's a good sign. But, geez, if I get cracked by a foul ball in the ankle, I'm crying. You down for the count? Yeah, I am. I'm going to be so down for the count, so out of it, so gone. I'm going to be like. Well, considering the fact that you got cracked in a sprained ankle. I got cracked in a sprained ankle. I didn't sprain both my ankles at the same time. So it was like trying to walk around was critical. Like one had a, a high spray and one had a mild spray. So I was able to still put weight on it. It just was like, yeah. Don't feel bad. I was upset because I sprained my ankle. On my way to work. I had to stand at work all day. No, that's funny. No, I ain't. <laughs> you know how swollen my ankle was? Well, how about this? While we sprain, talking about ankles getting cracked, how about um, Albert Pujols cracking hit 661 home runs, passing Willie Mays, who was tied at 660th? Ooh, he's still playing. Pujols? Mm-hmm. It's a lot of people that's amazed to still playing, but they looking damn good. So, yes. Who else are you amazed that's still playing? Uh, former Cub Jake. Arietta. Yep. He he, but he's out with a hamstring injury, and guess who's was back? If we're gonna talk about the Cubs, Quintana. Jose Quintana. He's Back off the IL for the second time this season or third one of them. Oh, okay, I got confused for a minute. I was like, "Wait, what?" No, he's back, and he was posted in in the starting lineup today. Um, damn, you just gonna keep looking that way. Don't even look this way. <laughs> I'm eating. I want to put my food on camera. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, but then you got the MLB, which I think is. The best idea that they had that they're gonna adopt a bubble site starting with the division series and the well, world series. The real question is, where do you think they're gonna go? You mentioned like so. I know, let me get let me because I said this, I just have to remember what I said. You had to remember what you said, A.K. You had like to look par- it up. Like, apologies for me, y'all. I'm eating. I'm hungry. I ain't eat all day. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you can still talk. <laughs> I am talking. No, you. It's like pause. You get, uh, I'm sorry. I'm eating. Mm, mm, um. Nah, I quit. Look at <laughs> black person. I'm doing what I need. So, yes, Global Life Field will be the site of the 2020 World Series. Which is in Arlington, Texas. What team is in Global play at Global Life? That's the newly built home of the Texas Rangers. Who's not in the playoffs? Exactly. And I <laughs> So that makes sense. Take a team that's not in the playoffs. And use their facility. Yeah. Put it in a bubble situation. I wonder if they're gonna do the course of the World Series or all the way up to the World Series. Well, that's going to be the location for the World Series. I don't know where the other location is going to be. It may be two, one or two locations. Well, it can't be Chicago, because you know why? Because both Chicago teams is in the World Series. Not in the World Series, but they in the playoffs. I wish they was in the World Series. Yeah, with the Sox in first, and they clinched the first time since 2008. But they clinched <laughs> first time since 2008. That was what? 11 years ago? And... If they get back to the World Series, it'll be the first time since 2005. 12. What? You said 2008. It's 20. Okay, 12. (laughs) Excuse me. I was just saying. Ooh, my little cousin got birthday coming up. In a couple more days, I'm going to be chatting Libra. Actually, not even a couple more days. Tomorrow? At 12 (laughs) o'clock. Oh, y'all pray for me. Because it started, what, the 22nd, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be chatting Libra. Libra. Okay, I quit. My little cousin's a Libra. <laughs> oh, hell. But 
you know, on the, uh, the episode of Cubs, you know, we had Alec Mills who tossed the no hitter against the Brewers when they play against the Brewers. Woohoo! And that's only the that was the second no hitter of the season. Right. I'm gonna have a rant in a minute about a particular team, but continue your point. I'm just saying that was that was, it was a uh, yeah, that was a rant. Well, wow, wow, rant. See, I'm, see what you made. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. That was the second of the season, and both Cubs and Sox, like I said, Cubs and Sox have been looking pretty good. It's good to have John Lester back in the lineup, Cortana back in the lineup. But I gotta say, the lineup for the Sox though is redonkulous. Is redonkulously amazing this year. So redonkulously amazing. What? Yeah, I, I didn't create some words. Now the Cubs did play the Padres today. Padres are in the playoffs. <laughs> Hello, Miss Sandy Slim Diego. How you doing? I ain't happy. Let me just say something. They make fun for the first time in fourteen years. The whole time I grew up in California, they sucked. They ain't hey. never gonna know what now in a short season. Now you wanna be good. Ain't that about some bug? Hmm. Ain't that said the short season? They ain't never been good, ever. Uh. But at least they stayed in San Diego. Yeah, but look, you got to stay humble to your team. Man, forget them. And if the Astros make the playoffs, they're going to be without Justin Verlander because he will have to have TJ surgery. Tommy John surgery. Oh, well, he didn't make a difference anyway. Their cheating made a difference. We're not going to talk about the cheating. It's not, it's not about today. <laughs> they still cheated. I'm just calling it like I see it. Ooh, excuse me. Ew, Dante Payne. He talked about me eating. And he over here burping y'all face. Uh. I didn't burp in y'all face. I burped in y'all ears. Technically, that's their face. But if you're <laughs> tuning in, if you're watching the video, yes, I'm sorry if I burped in your face and you heard that. That came from the depths of my stomach, but you know. It's all good. And what's all good, what's also good is that you got the MLB and the MLBPA committing $10 million for black programs. All part of the Black Lives Movement. Let's get it. Yeah, let's go. But let's go. What better way to kick this show off? Like, we got our baseball talk. Okay, we got base. In, wow. We got NFL and NBA talk coming up, as well as WNBA. But we gonna give y'all some music, and that's also an awesome part of our show. You're rocking with a power couple of sports. You don't have a couple that does it in the same bill. They may do a podcast, but I haven't heard it, haven't seen it. So far, all I know is we the only ones that do it. That's why we the power couple of sports. But we got more music. Come on, y'all. So, Ow. I got some Asha Marie. I got some new music. Matter of fact, we gon we gon we we gonna get them let them hear a taste of Nobi. Sure. I think that's that's the best route to do. <laughs> Nobi. You know you could help me out here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, where you need to go? Oh, um mm, No, you you ain't gotta you can just hit play. I just hit play. No, let's go the weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> This that y'all about to hear is Nobi, The Weekend. Check it out. You feel like every other day or weekend I know you've been working Just keep going till you get it I know you've been working Just keep going till you get it, get it. Yes, we put in work We put that work in while you sleeping This song make 
make you feel like every other day or weekend. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it, get it. Put in work, yo, I'm exhausted. We've been up, stay up recording. My energy is gorgeous. You're the reason why I'm cautious. Take precaution, yes, it's flawless. Look me in my face, can you handle all this? Wait for the day they direct the positive. Last time, I'm with the death, where's the bosses? Yes, we put in work, we put that work in while you sleeping. This all make you feel like every other day or weekend. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it, get it. Yes, we put in work, we put that work in while you sleeping. This all make you feel like every other day or weekend. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it, get it. No truck, we get it, you big tie. They got sticks, don't think it's a campfire. Yeah, you hot, been hot, I been fired. They won't listen, you're a hater. Don't stop, don't matter what he said. You get into the top, why you worry what she said? We know you out my plans and keep safe. They support, they will do it the G way. Yes, we put in work, we put that work in while you sleeping. This all make you feel like every other day or weekend. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it. I know you've been working, just keep going till you get it, get it. Started like 99 Sean Carter, I prosper. You dig? Yeah, get in tune. Look, presidential, I'm a trendsetter, yeah, your boo, she know. Yeah, I had to put God first for the one time, like a gospel note. That's when it starts clicking head after head, like a Mike Tyson note. Power in me like a pastor quote. I'm the wave, like we own the boat. Man, big check, I'ma need that need She that. said king, I received that right. Yeah, woman know where the cream let's at go. I don't trust none, she can teach that She got a line for me, that's a big snatch Lord, help me get legit money before I end up with a cage at I don't need that, so I can't like, yeah uh, Rick, we was saying the name yeah. She said that she glad that I came yeah. Man, she better hurry up uh. She making sure that I add just lay Then the pants and the shirt both fade right. She risk it off on my time, she brave yeah. And no, I wouldn't do the same no. Never really wanted to fame Keep it on the low lanes, gotta go, so need some more, get it, then I go, I position close, boom, now they not close, no more, bread when the toast life that I chose, I'm in legendary mode, that platinum plaque is close, the glory all I want, huh, you dig, I ain't stopping till we on top, man, collect over everything, you know what it is, shot time, stand up, Woo. Yeah. Breaking the rules, no cap. I'm better than dude. Fall back. No time to snooze. No. Mama, we made the news. news, news. Uh, came with the crew. All strapped. Flicking the jewels. Ice. Boom. He copied the groove. That's right. Stay fishing for clues. Yeah. 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 Dragon Sports Live. If you just tuning in, I am Jonte Payne, sitting alone, the lovely Miss Miranda Marie. I'm Marjorie. I'm cross-promoting next. 
Ain't they marketing me? Yeah, what's up? I ain't up, but this is the other show, a and Radio, so I'm cross-promoting. Yeah, but tonight is Dragon Sports Live. I know. I'm it's... Just, I just cross promote. People look at it, they see it, blah blah blah. Give a thumbs up. It is Dragon Sports Live. And if you want to get your music played, hit us up. Send your music to dragonjumppro at gmail dot com. Oh yeah. You can send it to me at bray media marketing at gmail dot com. Uh huh, look you <laughs> Hey, I got to also there's another email if you just want to send music, you can do Brianna Murray at B Ray Media Marketing dot net. And if you need anything else, photos, websites, photography, go to dragonjumppro dot com. And for websites go to B Ray Media Marketing dot net. And there you go. Well like I said, welcome back. Um, and if you're interested in sponsorships, do the same thing. Why are you going to say, there you go, and then you're going to go with some money? Anyway. Now I'm done. Anyways. This past, well, these past two weeks of the NFL, it's been very gruesome to some players. We got Gruesome one t- is a understatement. Well, I ain't going to say gruesome. I'm going to say it's been a lot of injuries within the first two weeks. I understand, like, y'all are eager to play and all that. But be careful. But more importantly, it's been a lot of knee injuries. Considering the fact that yesterday yesterday there were six season-ending knee injuries, all ACLs. Well, let, let's go down with this. You got Saquon Barkley. Barkley for the Giants. He, he done. Nick uh, Bosa. Nick Bosa. Done. Done. Solomon Thomas, same team. Done. Now that's two ACLs on one team right there. Right. Uh, wide receiver Cortland for the Denver Broncos ACL done. Sutton, Say, you mean? Sutton, yes. I was like, who? Cor- well, Cortland's his first name. I know, but you didn't say. <laughs> so done. Oh, uh, let's see what else I got. Malik uh, Hooker for the Indianapolis Colts safety torn Achilles done. Oh, I know you tore his Achilles. I would use it talking about ACL, but that works too. Uh, Bruce Irving and who's the other guy for the Seahawks? Seahawks? Anyway, Bruce Irving, done. And then you got Zach uh, Bonner. Bonner for the Steelers. Done. He's done. What so, is that, Tennessee? Oh, yeah, and I forgot uh, the running back for the Indianapolis Colts. Mozart. Mozart. No, the run back for the Colts. Because he's out, too. Mozart got injured, too. Yeah, so he torn Achilles. Done. And that's what? At least a dozen lower leg leg and lower injuries that I just named? Yeah. It, like, it's happened. It's just the fact that the, the 49ers game is like, okay, you had multiple injuries in that game. They got demolished by injuries because they were already down Kittle. Uh, they are down Kittle, D. Ford, Richard Sherman. Then Jimmy Garoppolo got hurt. Ankle, but he may he be a couple he weeks may out. Play, he may play. Coleman got hurt. Yeah, it's crazy. Um. Well. Uh. And that's like I said. That's Coleman, uh, uh, Garoppolo, Mozart, Bosa, Solomon all went down in that same Monk, game. Monk, that's the running back for the Colts, Malik Monk. Oh, yeah. He went down with the torn Achilles. I mean, it's just crazy, but you got all that. And then you, on top of Christian McCaffrey, he's out four to six weeks with a high ankle sprain. Ankle sprain. Uh... He's out four six weeks. Ankle sprain. Drew Locke is out three to five weeks with an AC joint sprain on his throwing arm. Who is they back up? Uh, that is a good question. But can't. But while we're talking about, can we talk about the Buffalo Bills and their quarterback Josh Allen? Yeah, we go. We gonna get to it in a second. <laughs> But I just got, want to find out who. But you got he got to find out who Denver's uh backup is. Who well, is that because it's like think about it, a lot of these teams off good starts, like you said, and the same thing. Well, they won it. Oh, 
And if you're watching sports tonight. Yeah, and they about to be one and one with the way they playing. Well, you got to think about it. They don't have Michael Thomas. We know. Okay, they ain't got Michael Thomas who they lost with a high ankle sprain. But this is the first home game for the Raiders. So oh, think damn. about it. Oh, damn. That's they back up? Jeff Driscoll. They came from, uh... Uh... Detroit? The Lions? Yes. Yeah. So many people have never, ever had a black quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't about that. But you want to talk about your boy Josh Allen? What's up with him? He hot. He hot yesterday. He threw twenty. I believe it was twenty four thirty eight. Four hundred and seventeen yards and four pass touchdowns. Well, he was pretty decent. It's it's Josh Rosen that's the one that's like <laughs> Josh Rosen's crap. Right. It's not. It's it's make or bust season. It is, and he busting. And he he'll get. He just needs the right veteran. Yes. His match is not the right veteran. No Lord. So. Well, did he get cut by the Dolphins? Who? Yeah. Rosen. Cause they tried to they tried to uh. Well, that nigga tra- trade him, but nobody want him. So. <laughs> it that must feel bad when you're not wanted. Well, you got to think about it. It was a lot of good quarterbacks that was drafted in this thing. We may see Tua. Tua. Early. Tua. 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 I'm like, it's already, it's it's cool that you, uh. Tua. You got Fish Magic doing this thing, but we we don't talk about quarterbacks doing their thing that didn't do their thing the first game, but did this. Tom Brady. So. Are are you on the are you on the Max bandwagon? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> pissed off because he came to the NFC South. That should be a good benefit because then you got two old heads in Drew Brees and Tom Brady, both in their forties, just going at it. Like, oh no, I I just passed your touchdown rank. Oh no, I, man, BS. He's like some geriatrics. I'm just saying. They look geriatric. They can't do nothing. That's all I'm saying. Hey, it is what it is. It's ridiculous. That's all I'm saying. Like, they, it just, he had to come to the NFC South, which is a bunch of BS. So I'm not feeling it. You're not feeling it because you just came to over. I, I don't care. Like, let me tell you something. Let's talk about quarterback. Let's talk about rookie quarterbacks doing their thing. Let's talk about Justin Herbert. See, you want to talk about? Let's talk about the old man first before we go to Justin Herbert. I ain't what you got. To did say. you did you like the showing in that second game versus the first game? Oh yeah, he looked much better. But he also got weapons to throw to. He got a whole bunch of weapons. If you can't look no better than that with all them weapons, I don't know what to tell you. And. Like you said, Justin Herbert. Now, he got the lucky start because Tyrod Taylor did have chest issues, so he didn't play that game. And he ain't got COVID, as far as we know. And Yeah, it's not that. It was more like, because he had, what, a real problem? Mm-hmm. So, it was that. So, but, basically, it was hard for him to breathe. But So, Justin Herbert got the late, late start. And can we say the man did he impress? Oh, he did, but he's... Tyrod's still going to be the... The starter going forward. Starter going forward. See, this is what I want to see. And I typically... You typically don't have teams doing this. What's that? Alternating starting... Alternating start quarterbacks. Like, they don't... You played last game, so this is your game. Right. Well, I, yeah, I, one thing I can say... Since we have a preseason, you know? Right. I mean, one thing... I would say these first couple weeks are kind of like preseason. Like the dress rehearsals. Oh, crap. Every, <laughs> but I will say this much. The Chicago Bears, and I'm actually proud to be a Bears fan right now, we're 2-0. Oh, huh, you go from Justin Hubbard to the Bears? You can't stay on the subject real quick? I'm just saying. I, I was going to talk about the Bears. I'm just saying we're 2-0. and I was going to talk about the Bears. Go ahead. I'm just saying two, we're 2-0. and It makes me feel happy. 
Well, no, since you saw him, elaborate. No, ju- I mean, I'm just saying Justin Herbert did his thing. No, you got to talk about the Bears. You elaborate. Elaborate. Right. Look, the Bears, we won 17 to 13 over the New York Giants. Mitchell Trubisky has looked amazing. I ain't going to say he look amazing. I ain't going to give him that much now. That, now well, that he, is just... well, he looked better than last season. Let's just say that much. But he's looking better. He's moving. He's We're been winning. more mobile. They paid Tariq Cohen. Uh, was it seventeen million, nine point six million guaranteed, three year contract extension? Yes, yes, yes. Now the only one left is Allen Robinson. Robinson, who was unhappy but said he did not request a trade from the Bears. He just said he was unhappy. And it, his contract extensions continued too. So it's like, do the right thing, Bears. Do the right thing. Just sign. Don't have people angry. Do what Dallas ain't did. Mm. Now you paid for that. <laughs> but since you say that, <laughs> how about we Dallas with the comeback win this past weekend? Oh my! They came back and won forty to thirty nine. Let me tell you how it went down, and let me tell you how Steve Nay like disappeared. D- Steve Nay was trolling Cowboy fans the whole game. As soon as they won, he disappeared. But no, let's just say this for the You're Atlanta. Loud. I'm right next to you, like blasting my ear. I'm sorry. Ah. I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> but no, let me just say this. So, uh, the Atlanta Falcons. They the Atlanta Falcons need to be sold. They just trash. I mean, I, I'm gonna go here. They now let's listen to the stat. When a team scores 39 points and has all the turnovers that Atlanta forced, they are 400. They they were 440 and oh. Now they're 440 and one. Well, look. If you want to talk about the Falcons, and you know they did let the Patriots come back. <laughs> I was talking about Dallas. Why he got to go to the Why he got to go to the Super Bowl when they screwed up here? Well, let no. Me, let me, let no. me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. How I was feeling about the Super Bowl. I was sitting there. I was talking boo foo crap. It was me, because we was at Dave and Buster's. It was me and another girl. We were talking boo for crap. We were talking, yeah, the Patriots, the Falcons is all in the Patriots' ass. We were talking boo for crap. As soon as we see the score, I'm like, oh, damn. And what do I, what do and I, I always say? The I made, name made over to the fat lady scenes, right? And I made, a, I made a bet with my boo, Bay Dante, and I'm like, oh, damn. That was your fault. <laughs> I, I and never look, gives up in my team. Look, and then I tried to renege on the bet. He wouldn't let me. Mm-mm. I, I stayed with my team all day, every day. And I'm like, I, I tried to I'm like, I'll be a I'll be a Patriots fan, I'll do whatever. But that's okay. It made me feel so lovely because DK Metcalf burned. Burned. Stay in one subject. You going to <laughs> I'm just saying they burned, but no. No, we're talking about the Falcons. But no, I'm I'm up, I'm upset. I'm upset. I sw- I promise the Falcons ain't been the same since that Super Bowl. Dan Quinn need to go. I am. I'm. And here's the thing. I'm not a Cowboys fan. But when you have that kind of lead, you should just get shot. Yeah, uh, you had to pause for a second. Yeah. You had to take a breather. <laughs> well, I was, felt like a hiccup was coming. I was like this. I was like, oh snap. Mm. Well, look. I don't. This all I'm gonna say. In the last play of the game, for those who haven't watched, watch the highlights of that game. There was an onside kick. And it, it was six Falcons around, and it no, was but five. No, it was six. It was it was five it, in the around the ball that okay, just fell over. Okay, it was five around, and then it was the the long six was backing up. Anyway, I don't know if they're trying to wait for it to go out out of bounds. They should have fell on it. All they had to do, but I guess they was is this new rule where the kick has to go ten yards, but it doesn't. But for a team just to fall, on, it doesn't have to go six yards. You can fall on it. All they had to do was fall on it. Bottom line, nobody fell on it except the former Falcon. Oh, it was a former Falcon. I didn't know there was a former Falcon. Yes, it was a former Falcon that fell on it that now plays for the Cowboys. Mm, mm, That mm. should make you feel extra salty. That should. That (laughs) should. That should make you feel extra salty. (laughs) That should make you feel extra salty. Now, I was extra salty because, you know, like you said, 
your Pacers got burned. No, they went. It wasn't so much they got burned. They made a comeback. That was actually a pretty good game. They was that going was a really. Attack. That was a really good game. Stephon Gilmore just, got burned. Yeah, Stephon Gilmore got burned by DK Metcalf, but he freaking six five and two hundred thirty pounds and, and got a versatile. Got, and he got he. That's what I'm saying. He he couldn't go up like like all you saw was him leaping and Stephon Gilmore tried to grab his leg and just went. No, it, it, if you look at the pregame warmups, the man was catching a ball up in between the goalposts. Like, he could just did like this, did a reverse. But, I mean, you know, Seahawks was hot. Uh, Russell Wilson threw five touchdowns to five different receivers. Yeah, they let him cook, as they say. They let Russell eat. <laughs> look, I, I'm just saying, five touchdowns to five different receivers. So, he did DK Metcalf. He did what? David Moore or DJ Moore? DJ Moore, uh, uh Tyler, Tyler Lockett. Lockett. Oh, snap. Uh, Swan. Swan. So somebody got two, maybe. No, it, he had a couple, five different receivers. I'm just saying that's incredible. And Cam had a good game. He, he had 397 yards passing. A, t- a passing touchdown, two rushing touchdowns, and somebody declared that Superman is back. I said when Cam Newton is healthy, Cam Newton is a beast. He just makes smart plays, and then he starts sliding, which is what I want. I'm like, slide. Slide, man. Slide. Slide, <laughs> slide, slippy slide. But my thing that what got me was the last play of the game where, and if you look back at history, the last – the last five games for the between the Eagles and Patriots all ended up like this. Seahawks and Patriots. Yeah. Think you about the this. Eagles. Well, I said, okay, my bad. One well, bird. Seahawks. Don't don't get on the Eagles with they trifling self. I'm just saying. With think about it, that Super Bowl with Butler last minute interception, right? Another Super Bowl I lost. Why are we bringing Super Bowls I lost? I. I it ain't my fault. <laughs> because Pete Carroll wanted to be a genius. Like, let's throw the football. Beast Mode was cooking. But it, he was on the half. It was a good game. But that's the same. <laughs> Look, if you think about it, the couple games after that, last minute, game winning field goal, uh, then a the game winning touchdown. And stop, then, stop bringing up my pain. And then if you think about the last game, it's painful watching the they game. Made, right they now. went with the most obvious play. I would have did a little. Trick play. Trick play. I, first of all, I wouldn't even ran where the crowd was. I would have ran the opposite way. As long as I got a blocker and you're strong enough, I would have went the opposite way. Something. That's why I would have went. Y'all killing me. Who's killing you? The Saints. Oh. Uh, Saints. She's a Saints fan all day, every day. I'm a Saints and Bears fan. Get it right. But you mainly think so. Yeah, when the you, Bears don't disappoint me and I, I got Walker with a bag on my head. Ooh, that's so wrong. I, I'm a Bears and Patriots fan. If they disappoint, I'm just like, we, we'll get better. Look, I'm going to put a bag on my head. She is embar- she is, she one of them embarrassed fans. I ain't the only one. But. <laughs> they killing me. How about this, though? What? Bears 2 and 0. Packers 2 and 0. Good for them. I'm happy the Bears be 2 and I'm very happy the Bears. I need the Packers to lose one. <laughs> no, now here's an interesting stat for you. Now think about this. The Minnesota Vikings have Stephon Diggs. They traded Diggs to Buffalo. That's why I mentioned them. <laughs> and, ev- and now ever since like they lost Diggs, they're 0 and 2. And the Bills are 2 and 0. Well, Bills try to make it to the playoffs because this will be the first time in 20 years. It's been 20 years? Last time it was 13. That was about six years ago, so. Oh. So we got to be right there, right? My leg itching, excuse me. I'm sure, like, what are you doing? I just see, like, <laughs> <laughs> my leg itches. Now, here's another thing that's been driving me up the wall. These fines for these guys. Jesus. No, this fine is disrespectful. So, three coaches over the weekend got fined for not wearing masks. Uh, Pete Carroll, 
for the Seahawks, Vic Fangio for the Broncos. And who was that? And who was that? Uh, Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan for the 49ers. So those coaches were fined $100,000 each. In addition to that, each team, the team that they worked for, was fined $250,000. That's a million, that's one point, that's ha- one and a half million dollars worth of fine. Whoo! Yeah, so. Oh, I mean, I understand you're going to find people, but damn. Look, if y'all going to do the mass thing, y'all might as well do like Adam, uh, man, Adam. Andy, Andy Reid. He got the face shield. He put some defogger on it. No, that that was just, bruh. No, well, he put like a, a defogging product so that even if he was blowing his breath, it won't. It won't fog the whole thing, yeah. but still, right there, that was his breath. What well, look? <laughs> I'm just saying. Full on mask, like it was like covered. I, look, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't like the mask like everybody else, but you know what? It's protecting me, so I'm a. It's protecting me too, so I'm gonna keep it up. More importantly, I don't hang out like that either. So. We do have college football that's back. Kickoff is, yeah. Nobody, this Saturday. Nobody cares. Oh, I care because that's our future. You know, Trevor Lawrence. We um, know. We know basketball was winding down. That is true. So look, I need my college. Baseball ball gonna be winding down soon enough. We gonna give y'all some more music and then coming up. We got shocking surprises for you that's happening in the NBA. So rock with us. This is Dragon Sports Live. This is Mr. Dante Payne and Brianna Marie in the building with I can't be out of marketing. That's and all I'm gonna say. And the Saints is the and the Saints is disappointing. Um, who we who who should hit them with, Mister Dark Out or J Rock, or J Lock? Well, you know my J Lock. I kind of want to hear it. Uh, we can hear it after. <laughs> oh, okay. I just feel like what? Who you want? You want J Lock or you want <laughs> J Lock? Go ahead, type him on the keyboard. Just type in. Hold up. I think I did that one. Okay. Hey, look, I'm working on it. Second plan. How about Lamar Creation? <laughs> that works too. Uh, J-Lock also. Nope. Better yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to do Lamar Creation. Okay. <laughs> Trust me.
here with me. Love, I need endlessly. Thoughts of you in my sleep. My feelings bittersweet. I hope you are into me as I am into you. Vibes from your energy. Enough to fill a room. You amazing. I've been praying, baby, to make arrangements. My heart was tainted. You changed it. Now I can feel it racing. What I'm saying, you more than me like clay. No longer aching. As far as her goes, and she knows, she knows. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. 
if you just tuning in. This is the Power Couple of Sports. Don't you dare do that. Don't you dare. <laughs> I covered my mouth. I, d- mm-mm. But this is the Power Couple of Sports. I covered my mouth. I am Dante, sitting alongside the lovely Brianna Murray. And look, it's getting close to past my bedtime, okay? Slide you tell. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did that allow to you? Hey, let's kick off this NBA talk right. So, uh, Barbosa will be joining the Warriors as assistant coach, as well as Sean Livingston in the front office. What? Two, well, Sean Livingston, he retired, what, last year, right? Earlier this year. Okay, early this year, last year, you know. Blah, blah, blah. Either way, he retired fresh. Shabam. He's been around the team. He got a couple championships. But more importantly, he's still with a team that he last retired with, and he's going in the front office. And I think he'll do a really good job in that position. And for those of y'all don't know, see, if y'all don't know, Steve Nash is now the new, head new coach, coach of the – Brooklyn Nets, but we had so many head coaching vacancies open right now. So it's like, let's start with the ones who recently got booted out the playoffs. You got the Houston Rockets. Mike D'Antoni announced he was not returning to the Rockets. He may now. He might the Patriots. The Patriots. The Patriots. The Pacers. He combined Pacers and Pacers. <laughs> the Pacers have a good interest in him. And personally, I think with Dan Tony's team, he needed a smaller a team. Like he was doing, the, he 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 was trying to do the he the essence of small ball, like mm-hmm. no big man. You basically got like a three using six five as your big man. So it may work, but I think it would work with a team because he was focused more on the three ball, right? Yes. No defense, just threes. A good team that would probably work for would be the Bulls. No offense, because think about it. Marketing, he shoot threes. Zach Levine. Zach Levine, he definitely shoot threes. <laughs> uh, Cody White, he shoot threes. Otto Porter, he shoot three. I couldn't think of the other people. Otto. <laughs> you got Otto. I couldn't think of the They got Rocket Power when they got Otto. I'm just saying they they all shoot three, so it's like that Man, would be that. But, but now you also you also got vacancies in the Sixers organization that coaches. I think the Sixers they want they're leaning more towards Tyrone Lue. I can see Tyrone Lue there with the Sixers. Cause think about it, Tyrone, you ain't got one player. Hallelujah. You got two players. Oh, I'm sorry. So I I can see Tyrone Lue there like he got a it's a decent little squad they just ain't they just didn't click in the playoffs with Boston right I mean you know and since the Clippers are not out of the bubble are you thinking Doc Rivers gonna be gone I don't think Doc Rivers is gonna be gone I think he's gonna have one more season to get it. Done, and if he don't, he'll be gone. What do you think? He's been there seven seasons, believe it or not. Yeah, he has. But what do you think? I don't think he's going to be gone. Because he's a good coach. He's a he's great a, coach. He's a good coach. Like I said, I think Ty, I think Ty Lue is going to go to the Sixers. Now, who do you think is going to go to the Pelicans? I was going to say, that's opening. Um, I don't know because they didn't really like. I didn't see any articles about them interested in any team. In anybody? Like I seen the Bulls was interested in Kenny Axe and uh, Unseal Junior. Okay. Kenny kind of got let go bogusly. It's the same way like Mark Jackson got let go bogusly. Yeah. And Steve Kerr stepped in and, and they started winning. So it's like. So we got the Pelicans. 
personally, though, for the Bulls, though, I think they need a coach that's one hard, but also de- uh, developmental. I think that was Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson, he just took shooters and made shooters shoot. But he had a good coaching scheme. That's what I said. That Warriors team was already set in place before Curry came there. Right. We know that. Uh, uh, Cause who was it? You said the Sixers. You said the Pelicans. Sixers, Pelicans, Pacers. I'm missing one. Bulls. Bulls. That's a couple of them. But either way. <laughs> Google. Hey, Google. Oh, wait. Google ain't plugged up yet. <laughs> I got to figure out a plug for you once we figure out a plug for Google. <laughs> what? Anyway. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop talking? NBA head coach with vacancy 2020. Why I got to start talking? Ugh. Not that interesting. Coke, oh, yeah. Mike Brown. Maybe a, a a new potential head coach. Uh, the Thunder. Yeah, Thunder. Thunder and Houston. Those are the other three. Chauncey Billups is interesting for sure. Head coach of the Jazz. Billy Donovan might be the next coach of the Chicago Bulls. Well, Billy Donovan was a good coach. Look what he did with the Sixers. I know. Well, I'm say, oh, I mean, look what he did with the Thunder, though. Yeah. Without uh, Russ and Harden and KD. So, that's a good move for them if they go after him. It is. Now, let's actually see if they go after him. Yeah. And then, you know, I don't know if y'all guys been watching. I know we have. But these playoffs have been <laughs> Crazy. Amazing. So you legit have a Cinderella story in Denver. Nuggets who are made the, history. <laughs> who are the first team? Like they made history. They're the first team to come back from not one, but two, three-one deficits in the same game. They took postseason. Out, <laughs> postseason. They took out the Clippers, which kind of gave me a warm feeling inside because the Clippers were very arrogant. And the fact that they got knocked down a couple points, it kind of gave me a warm feeling inside. Well, Clippers wasn't all there. You had Lou Williams checking out. Lemon Pepper Lou. You had him checked out. Honestly, then George was checked out because you got to think about it. He was healing from search, uh, shoulder injury. So it's like you, if you don't really have like a pinched nerve or something like that. I don't want to hear that because. I yeah. ain't giving no excuses, but it's just. Let me just explain. Nurkish, like, don't want Harold, he lost his grandmother. Nurkish lost his grandmother. Nurkish still came in there, like, you know what? I'm going to play for my grandmother, and he did what he's supposed to do. The Clippers was a bunch of babies. It Every, wasn't that. They just got Every, outplayed. No, I'm just saying. The Clippers were still being a bunch of babies because they was like, I'm missing. Everybody was missing their family. LeBron still, and he missing his family, but he doing what he needs to do because he want to win a chip. Kawhi's so saved by everybody talking about Kawhi's the best player. No, Kawhi's not the best player because he's the best player. You would have you would have got your team where they needed to be. You came in and talked about it's Kawhi's town. I'm the new king. Well, guess what? You at home. Well, he was doing his thing. It just he didn't have the help. That's my point. You and then also it was a couple games where the Nuggets had your number regardless because when you combine when you and George combined for twenty four points. Nice win on a Kobe. <laughs> you went there, why? I'm just saying. Somebody put that on YouTube. They said it was so nice of Kawhi and PG to honor Kobe by sco- combined for 24 points. Yeah. <laughs> now, how about this, though? Cause this- and Nick Wright just made my day because Nick Wright, from first things first, he was cracking up. The next day. Oh, as soon as they mentioned Kawhi, he started busting up. Yeah, he was. No, like, as soon as it came on, he tried to hold it in. He, like, and he just bust out laughing. <laughs> and I was cracking up. 
Oh, oh my Lanta. Just like <laughs> ten penalties for one twenty nine. That's half of Drew Brees' offense. Hey, 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 hey. What? I know your team losing right now, but focus on basketball. We're watching the game as we're talking about stuff, so sometimes you may hear us talk about and ranting like, "Boom!" Well, that's all right. But what's not boo is MJ has been a busy man. Yes, he's becoming the principal owner of a new NASCAR team and will sign Bubba Wallace. Here's my thing: not only you became a principal owner of NASCAR, you became a principal advisor or uh, owner advisor of DraftKings too. DraftKings, he's one. He's the only black NBA owner. Michael Jordan is doing his thing. Hey, Mike, though, calm down. Social media. I'm just saying, like. Hit me up. Postmates is a sponsor of everything. Yeah. He. I'm sorry. He's been a busy man. The man is putting in work. Did you have to say that that loud? I, I heard it echo off the wall. How in the world is oh, Michael dog. Work. <laughs> Oh, I hear you. Work. You hear me now? He's putting in work. But KD, not KD. KD. <laughs> AD. AD's putting in work as well. He's he's taking in that Mamba mentality. Like the late, great Kobe Bryant. Wait. On that last, if y'all watched the last game, Kobe, uh, AD hit the game with a shot, but he yelled Kobe. Kobe. Yeah, he did. You can see it. He was like, Kobe. <laughs> I said they, and then they were, it's like they won, the, when they wear the Mamba jerseys. They play. They play harder. They play. They they definitely tap into that Mamba mentality, but I did hear that. Like, I heard the shot, and I'm like, did this nigga say Kobe? I had to replay it. I had to go back and, like, you know, put my headphones, my Sony joints on. And, and I will say shout out to the Boston Celtics. <laughs> they won. They came out with a win a vendetta day. They never even lost a lead in that game compared to the first two games. No, they they kept that lead. They kept the foot on the neck. And they but then I call it, it was a must-win game for them? It was. Who knows when they were 3-0? Well, I mean, in this day and age, Denver, <laughs> Denver, did liked, twice. Denver liked being down 3-1, so yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I, I would say I think they like being behind just to come back and but, battle back. Cause right. If you look at all their games up to now, they – that, that's their thing, back. so I'm not even mad, you know. So, like, the fact that Lakers not playing no games with them, like, no. <laughs> Lakers, like, no, 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 no. So, Lakers I'm like. Lakers going to do the opposite of the Clippers. They're playing. Playoff Rondo ain't no ain't, ain't no joke, like. Playoff Rondo, you know, and I like how everybody got, like, braids. Like, I'm about to be one of them tomorrow, but, like, Rondo got it. AD got his French braids. He had like the swirl, and I, some of it didn't look like it. It wasn't just braids; it was a little bit of weave up in that too. Oh, shut up! To make the hair grow, you, you gotta look closely. Oh, shut up! Because think about it how how he go from having twists to having a swirl of braids all the way down. Bought him some braid milk. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get he had to get some little extensions. Shut. Up. Baby, leave me alone. I'm just saying. <laughs> leave me alone. The disrespect. The next game is Wednesday for the Lakers Nuggets. No, it's Celtics Heat. Celtics Heat is tomorrow. I thought it was Wednesday. See, <laughs> this is what we do, y'all. Do y'all see as we go? I'm pretty sure. Lakers Nuggets tomorrow, Wednesday is Celtics Heat. Oh, I'm feeling my bad. I knew somebody played tomorrow. I, I knew I knew my team. So, wait. So, the Lakers get a two-day rest, and the Boston, they get, what, a three-day rest? Yeah. <laughs> so well, you got to think about because. So, who you got going to the finals? Well, I don't know. I don't know with these with both of these teams with four of these teams. I don't know. I feel like this game will go down the way. Like I feel like the Nuggets gonna come out and win this. If not, I see the Lakers. Mm-hmm. 
going on that side, but with Miami and Boston, I, yeah, I don't know. Cause I would just say this: it's going to go seven games, and maybe. whoever has the lead at the end, that's gonna get it. But it look, let's see. Boston hasn't been to the finals since what? Oh wait. What? Yeah, because they've been to the semis, but they lost in the semis, but. And Miami hasn't been in there, so it look. Since LeBron, which was 2012-2013. But that's what I'm saying. It's, 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 they're hungry. and Denver ain't never been. They're young, so. Yeah, Denver ain't. <laughs> Let's go. So you're going to see you gonna see a difference. You're going to see them, you know, iterate more and. I think that's a better way to pause the show and say tune in next week. Next Monday. Which is next week, right? Yes, sir. (laughs) So tune with us on Mondays with Dragon Sports Live. Now, if you missed the show or if you would like to hear it, because video, you may not see the music or hear the music, you have to go to either Spotify Apple Podcasts, iHeart, or whatever you get your podcast, type in Dragon Sports Live. And Son of a- you shall hear good music from independent artists that's not signed to a major label. Um, and my random rants when I'm irritated. Random rants. He went straight down the middle. In a power couple of sports so you know tune with us next week for another edition of dragon sports live i am dante Payne, sitting alongside the lovely brianna Murray, and we're gonna say a very upset brianna Murray because i think she's playing with my emotions chugging up the deuces <laughs> peace uh. out <laughs> my good peoples Later.